Wasn't pretty. We'll take it. We'll take it. Got some work to do. Tail of two halves. So, um, you know, we had a few people step up. Um, obviously, Avery Fields gave us the punch that we needed to get going. Um, and at, at one stretch, that first half, um, got a lot of defensive stops. Had a lot of runs d due to the stops that we got. So, in that in that regard, that's what the tail of two has. Because the second half, we didn't duplicate that. And that's some stuff we got to correct. And there's some things that we can't control, but the effort, the energy, the concentration, it wasn't there the second half. And that's a result of us giving up 42 second half points. When we're aggressive, and that's part of that run right there, because probably six or seven of those assists that she got during the first half, that's what it came to. When we're aggressive and we're attacking, whether well, it's against man or zone, she's aggressive and she gets to the rim and, we, and she creates. And again, real home, she's going she's gonna to draw people to her anyway. And that, that's a result of Linda being aggressive. Getting to the, so that's one area we did clean up. You guys had 23 offensive rebounds today. How important are those second and third chances? They're, they're possessions. They're extra possessions. And each time you get an offensive rebound, the percentages go up for us to score and get to the free throw line. And, the, and that, 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 that is one glimpse that we did look good. No, not at all. Um, Bria's got to let the game come to her. And, that, and I mean, Bria means well. And some of the unforced turnovers that she got, she, she just got to slow down and let the game come to her. And from time to time, she starts to press a little bit. And that's where some of those turnovers. But I mean, She's got to settle down. and We've got to come to the ball. We've got to get in, get in the line of the ball because, again, some of those turnovers, they weren't all her fault. We're not coming to the ball. And when we don't come to the ball, that's where you see some of those turnovers. You mentioned Taylor two halves. Defensively, first half, you know, 11 points. I'll tell you what, we did some good things that first half. And, I mean, we were in the passing lane. We got deflections. Um, we, we played our responsibilities, took away the shooters. Uh, they only had two people to score that first half if I stand correctly. And that was a result of that because we were active. We were aggressive. We were talking. Um, that second half, we didn't we didn't do that. And, and that's where the tail of two halves came in. Sure. As a coach, how frustrating was it watching that second half where it seemed like you guys really had to grind? Believe me, it wasn't pretty. I'll tell you that. It wasn't pretty. But, and, and again, it's, it's one of those things that you can control. And if you don't control it, I mean, you know, it, it may not catch up against us right now, but it'll catch up with us during Big 12 play. And we got to fix that. And the only way it's going to get fixed, those the 11 young ladies in that locker room, they got to fix it. Coach, I know uh, you guys are trying to work Bree McDonald back into the lineup and talk the rust off. I mean, 8.6 rebounds. She seemed to be pretty efficient. She, she, gave, she gave us a punch off the bench, I tell you that. And, and she's going to get better and better. And like I said, she's just trying to get get back into the groove of things. But once she does, I mean, she, she, she could be special for us. The sky's the limit for T, and but T T T's gotta, she's gotta slowly, you know, be patient and let the game come to her as well. You mentioned several times slowing the game down, being patient. How difficult is that to teach or to execute? It's just reps. I mean, we just gotta be patient, and again, a lot of times we're rushing and we don't let a play develop, and then when the action is away, that's where some of the turnovers are taking place. If it's not there, it's not there. Don't force it. Every one of these wins are important, but I mean, obviously, Coach Carey's going through some stuff right now. And, um, you know, he always says it's, it's more to life than basketball. And honestly, it's more to basketball than basketball. And, you know, for our kids, I mean, they, they want to play for them every day. They want to play hard for them. Um, that, that's, our, that's our core right there. I mean, we defend, we rebound, we play with toughness. We try to take good shots. And, and that's, what, that's what we stand for. And that's who we are, and, that, and that's that's what we try to strive for every day when we come out and step on the floor, whether it be practice or a game. It seemed like the turnover battle was not something that was won against Mississippi State, of course. This time around, you know, plus nine, I believe. Um, I mean, how, how important is that to, to take care of the basketball? It's very important. I mean, just as important as, as those offensive rebounds, because a lot of times, when you take a quick shot, a quick shot is just as bad as a turnover because you don't have anybody back, and now you're on a, on a disadvantage. 
you know, run the break. But I mean, we got we got to get possessions. We got to secure possession, and then once we secure them, we got to take take it and make the most of it. We got one of the best players in the country on our team, and again, when we're a step slow or we're a pass slow, and those turnovers take place, I mean, we can't we can't have our advantages. And that, that, it's a simple game.